Hey guys, Alexander here, and in this video, I will be deriving the mean and the variance of the uniform distribution. So let's get started. So, firstly, the expected value of x is equal to the integral from the lowest value of the support to the highest value of su the support over the PDF of the distribution function b minus a and we need to remember that it's x times the pdf dx always remember that the expected value of x is equal to the integral from x for all the values that the random variable can take of x times f of x dx where f of x is the pdf of your continuous distribution so firstly note that b minus a are constants with respect to dx they're just constants so we can bring them outside of the integral and then we are left with the integral of x dx and well you should know that this integral simply becomes x squared over 2 we increase the power of the exponent by 1 and we divide it by 2 but by that uh, new exponent which is 1 plus 1 which is 2 so we end up with this and we can further simplify this as 1 over b minus a divided by b squared minus a squared over 2 and we know that b squared minus a squared can be factorized into b minus a times b plus a. You can verify this because b squared plus ab minus ab minus a squared. The plus ab and the minus ab cancel out, so we know it's b squared minus a squared. And where the denominator is 2 times b minus a. And as we can see, these cancel out. So this leaves us with the expected value of x is equal to b plus a over 2 if x is distributed as a uniform distribution with the parameters a and b. So that's how we derive the mean for the uniform distribution. I would highly recommend that you memorize this formula because it will prove to be very helpful if you can just recall the formula instead of having to derive it yourself. But basically, the mean simply is the midpoint of your interval as simple as that it's just a plus b over 2. so let's get to deriving the variance as usual so let's get to deriving the variance as usual i'll start with the shortcut formula for the variance the variance of x if x is a random variable is equal to the expected value of x squared minus the square of the expected value of x. We've already derived the expected value of x and we found this to be b plus a over 2. So let's find the expected value of x squared. For a continuous distribution or a random, vari random variable that follows a continuous distribution, the expected value of x squared is defined to be the integral over the entire support of x squared multiplied by the pdf dx okay so in our case it's equal to the integral from a to b of x squared multiplied by 1 over b minus a dx again 1 over b minus a is simply a constant so bring it outside of your integral integrate x squared it becomes x to the power 3 over 3 and then we have the limits from a to b so we know that this is equal to b cubed minus a cubed divided by 3 times b minus a. And we can factor this into b minus a multiplied by b squared plus ab plus a squared. And then we divide all of this by 3 times b minus a. You can go factor this out if you're unsure as to why this can be factored into this, but this is a result that holds. So we have b minus a times b squared plus ab plus a squared. And then we cancel out the b minus a's. So we're left with 
the expected value of x squared is equal to b squared plus ab plus a squared over 3. But we're not done yet. We're interested in finding the variance of x. And the variance of x is equal to the expected value of x squared minus the square of the expected value of x. So we're going to just plug this into the formula, b squared plus ab plus a squared over 3. And the expected value of x is a plus b over 2, and we'll square that as well. So we end up with the variance of x is equal to b squared plus ab plus a squared over 3 minus a squared plus 2ab plus b squared all over 4. So now we need to um, ensure that these fractions have the same denominator so that we can subtract them. So we multiply everything here by 4. We multiply everything on this side by 3 to get the uh, denominator to be 12. So we end up with 4b squared plus 4ab plus 4a squared minus 3a squared minus 6ab minus 3b squared and all of this divided by 12. So let's go look, what can we cancel out? We've got a 4a squared and a 3a squared here. A 4ab, a 6ab and a 4b squared and a 3b squared. That's nice, that means all of these six uh, entities have something that is of the same uh, function and exponent as them. each one has a has a partner so we have 4b squared minus 3b squared that leaves us with b squared we have 4ab minus 6ab which leaves us with negative 2ab and we have 4a squared minus 3a squared which leaves us with plus a squared and we have all of this divided by 12 so we can factor this and make it b minus a squared over 12. And this is the variance of x. x is distributed as a uniform random variable with uh, the parameters a and b. So that's how we derive the variance of x as well as the mean. So always remember, if always remember, if x is distributed uniformly on the interval a to b, the expected value of x is equal to the midpoint of this interval, a plus b over 2, and the variance of x is equal to b minus a squared over 12. So this is how you go about deriving these results. They're not very difficult to derive. You just need to know how to do a bit of algebra and factorization and then you can derive the expected value as well as the variance of a random variable x that follows the uniform distribution over an interval a to b. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has proven helpful to your studies. Boer Commander, out.